We're currently in the playoffs of the Smogon Grand Slam. I'm the number 7 seed and it's a tournament with tiers that are not OU. So UU, RU, PU, NU, Little Cup, and Ubers. Out of those 6 tiers, you play 5 of them in a playoff bracket. The process to pick those 5 tiers is a little complicated and you don't really need to know it, but basically, we're not doing Ubers in this round. So I'm playing against Expulso and we'll get right into the game. Okay, we are in the game right now. And basically my team is built around the Crit Me Not Metagrowth, which you may or may not have heard of. The main problem is that it gets walled by Haze Milotic, right? So my plan is going to be to try and get a Toxic on Milotic with, for example, Rhyperior or Specs Solazzle, because typically you don't have Toxic on a Specs Pokemon, right? So that could be an idea, right? Other than that, what do I have to do? I'm a little bit weak to Escavalier. I do have Crobat, but if it's Swords Dance Iron Head, I could be in trouble and it can farm my uh, Celebi as a switch in. In general, Celebi can be turned into a liability by Pokemon like Incineroar, so I have to be U turn I have to keep U-turn on the table. Uh, Specs Fire Blast looks really good. Because if I can create that Milotic situation, right? If I can create the Milotic situation who wants to come in on Solazzle. Then I can get a Toxic off, looks good, right? In the short term though, I do feel like I struggle versus Nidoqueen, Crobat, Escavalier. Like, I would, like, I definitely feel like maybe Nidoqueen is the lead, right? In the, Crobat would mat, Crobat leads versus everything, basically, right? Uh, Crobat leads versus everything. The, I would, I, I would love to lead Celebi too. Oh. Like, Celebi to counter lead Nidoqueen, right? I think I probably just lead Crobat, right? Yeah, I think I lead Crobat here. Crobat into my Lodic. This probably has Flip Turn. I don't think you Scald into Celebi, right? So I'm just going to Brave Bird on Flip Turn here. Uh, right? I do have Heal Bell on Umbreon. Yeah, I'm going to Brave Bird into Flip Turn here. I think you lead my Lodic because you were trying to counter lead Rhyperior, and you know your team is not weak to Celebi. It's probably the idea, right? I think uh, Crobat is definitely going to be... Like, they're kind of weak to Crobat. Their only Crobat check is Raikou, but Raikou typically doesn't have recovery. So I can pound it with Brave Bird, then you turn on it, right? So I think Crobat is my main way of making progress here, and I'm expecting a flip turn from my Lodic, right? I don't think you Scald into Celebi, no way, right? 33, okay. Yeah, they do flip turn. We get damage, which is good for Silazzle, right? Because my plan was, you know, my plan was to be happy just getting a Toxic off. But now I'm, I might even be in position to just go up, go straight up for KOs, right? I will have to calc uh, Nidoqueen versus RU Stealth Rock, right? These can be offensive, Crobat, Custom Set. These can be offensive, so Ice Beam will do 75. I could Roost on it, but who am I helping, right? I feel like I'm, I might have to give up Stealth Rock here. Let me just... Double check the Umbreon calc. Yeah, so Umbreon does wall it, but I will probably have to give up Stealth Rock here, right? Like, Stealth Rock goes up, I cannot stop it for now, right? Um, yeah, right? The problem is, Umbreon does give a switch in back to my Lodic, which I'm not a fan of doing, but... So I could... Nah, I just U-turn, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to give up the Stealth Rock here. Or not. That's good. It is Black Sludge, not Life Orb. Um, which is good to know. But yeah, it does look like, look like I'll have to give up Stealth Rock here. 23 only. Probably my Lodic coming in again. I'll take damage on it, maybe. Incineroar, okay. 29, that was kind of large. Is that offensive? Yeah, that was large. That must be offensive, right? 252 attack, even Adamant. 29, is that... Am I looking at something different? That's a lot of damage. Oh, oh, missing HP. So it's... Okay, yeah, yeah. 
So it's that this is offensive Incineroar, right? Probably going to U-turn. If I go to Rhyperior, the punish is not really existent, right? Uh, my Lodic can punish with Flip Turn. I'm gonna go Rhyperior. They're probably gonna knock off here. I'm okay with that. Or U-turn even. Knock off, I'm fine. I think Stealth Rock up for me too is a good idea. Yeah, so they're like offensive heavy duty boots, right? I think I do want Stealth Rock up for me. They go to my Lodic, they're gonna threaten with... Uh, do I have heavy duty boots on Celebi? I do, right? They're going to threaten... Ooh. They're gonna threaten with... Um, flip turn. I think I just go straight to Umbreon. It's very difficult to punish Umbreon here. You have Escavalier, kind of. But difficult. it's difficult to punish Umbreon here. I want a Toxic on my Lodic somehow, some way, and then I can go for maybe Metagross winning, right? I do have to be careful because because it's um, offensive high speed. Okay, you go straight to Cavalier. It does take leftovers damage. I feel like a knockoff is incoming. Metagross probably gets outsped by Incineroar. I do have to be extremely careful. So this, this is like Swords Dance. I'm in trouble, right? Mega Horn does a lot of damage. I'm definitely in trouble here. Like, if there's a knockoff incoming, I'm in trouble. We have to figure it out. As Cavalier Swords Dance, Umbreon will do about 40, right? 40 is nowhere near enough. How do we keep as Cavalier off the board? There's a knockoff incoming. Even a. Hmm. Do I go to Crobat and, like, temporarily deal with it? Or do I. Like, if I foul play, I die to Megahorn right now, don't I? Assuming it is, in fact, Megahorn, which it may not be, but... Right. Megahorn, the standard set does not one-hit KO, but I'm not sure I want to take that risk, right? This is tricky, right? So, I have time on the clock, right? So, long-term, what are my goals, right? Am I pigeonholing on the Metagross too hard? I mean... My Lodic is not weak enough yet, right? It's weak, but it's not weak enough, right? I feel like S Cavalier is just gonna knock off. But even even just a knockoff is really annoying for Umbreon, right? On the other hand, if I foul play into Sword Stand, that's really good for me. Right? Do I make like an aggressive can you even call it aggressive? I think. I need Umbreon for Nidoqueen. I need Umbreon for a lot of things, don't I? We'll go Crobat now. See if they Mega Horn. They knock off. That's kind of expected. We can roost off the damage. This is becoming annoying without Heavy Duty Boots, right? But they're going to roost Iron Head Swords Dance, maybe? Okay. So not... That's kind of annoying damage. Hmm. So the good news is no Mega Horn, probably knock off Iron Head. I mean, I could have it, right? Knock off Iron Head, close combat. Um, I would love to U-turn on Swords Dance. Should I do it? I feel like I can do it, right? U-turn on Swords Dance here. Predict the Swords Dance. Go to Salazzle. You either Iron Head or you Swords Dance, right? Yeah, there we go. Got it. Easy. Now, so Heavy Duty Boots does reveal we are, in fact, Choice Specs, right? My Lodic is probably Heavy Duty Boots too. Um, let's go to the RU Calc set, right? Salazzle. Fire... Bl oh, not Elements. I'm wasting valuable time here, okay. So Fire Blast does 28. Which isn't enough. Right? I would love to sludge wave here into my Lodic. But do I think really think that's gonna happen here? Um I think I can. Okay, into Raikou, that's fine too. 67. Fire Blast would would have knocked it out, that's fine though. Um Now we're in danger because S Cavalier can come back in for free. Umbreon could be a good idea, maybe. 
to cover both. Or I can Fludge Wave again. Because, uh, like, going Umbreon is kind of an obvious play. What if they try to predict it, right? Um, 60 seconds on the clock, not great. We can also go Celebi, maybe? Let's just Sludge Wave. They go Ask Cavalier, okay. Uh, probably a knockoff incoming, right? I can't stop the knockoff. I could maybe sacrifice... Hmm. Knockoff is incoming. I can't stop it. We'll go to Rhyperior. Megahorn. So it does have Megahorn. We'll go back to Thalazzle. He's never going to sacrifice S Cavalier, right? If I Fire Blast... Yeah, he's going to sack Raikou. My Lodic will uh, try and heal up now. I can try and create momentum. I feel like my Lodic should try and heal, right? Or actually, they can go Crobat too. They can go to Crobat too. I'm in not a good position here. They go to Incineroar. Can't I Fire Blast for damage and then back Metagross to win the game? Fire Blast for damage. Um, There's a knockoff incoming for sure. I think I Fire Blast for damage. 39. Get hit by knockoff. We go to Crobat. We Brave Bird. We try to keep S Cavalier in front of us, right? Then we have to try and win with Metagross. I'm not sure if we can beat my Lodic though. It's gonna be tough to talk. We, I mean, we literally cannot toxic it now. But yeah, Haze my Lodic is a problem here. We have to hope that it's not Haze, which is unlikely. Scald, flip turn, recover Haze. It can easily fit Haze on the move set, and it wouldn't have a move like Ice Beam because they're already well covered versus Grass types here. Yeah, they go to Crobat. Um, I don't think it's Taunt Crobat. I just uh, go for uh, Outspeed. Or I can go for Defog too. Yeah, I can go for Defog too. Doesn't mean a whole bunch in the grand scheme of things, but... We have to go for the Metagross win, it looks like here. Okay. Uh, we U-turn into Celebi, right? They're gonna recover. We'll try and gain momentum like that. Or should we go straight to Metagross? We can go to, uh, Celebi. They flip turn, okay. We probably have to sacrifice it. Then go for the... Uh, Metagross win here, but I think we've taken too much damage. Incineroar is going to be an issue. Nidoqueen is going to be an issue. We don't have enough time to set up here. My Lodic is going to haze down too. We have to hope it's not haze and that we can uh, bulk through. We can. We have to hope it's not haze and that we can bulk through Pokemon like Incineroar and Nidoqueen. Uh, let's see if it can happen. I'm very doubtful it will, though. We're struggling versus my Lodic. I think the main problem is the S Cavalier was very tough to deal with for my team, right? How could I deal with S Cavalier, right? Pro, like, like my team was weak to S Cavalier, I think. I probably had to be more attacking with Salazzle, I think. That must have been... But even then... It'll, it, it, would, it was always going to be tough, right? Um, we can hope for a choke here, though. Wouldn't mind one of those. Right? S Cavalier. Metagross. Custom set. How much defense do we need to break through? We probably need... We need three of them. Okay? We need three of them to break through. So I'm, I'm thinking it's Haze Milotic the way he's playing it, but... Ooh, okay, we're taking way too much damage here. Yeah, 
yeah, we're taking too much damage. Megahorn. Yeah, GG, we're gonna lose uh, game one. We'll go into game two now. I think I'm gonna pick Little Cup this time. Okay, we are back with game two. And I've decided I'm definitely gonna be playing... I wanna use more offensive teams now. I feel like you know, just sitting there and waiting to die to Death Cavalier is not fun. I'm gonna be playing my game. And if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But I'm gonna be playing a more attacking brand of game right now because it was not fun to be sitting there just waiting to die to Death Cavalier. Um, I feel like I've seen this team before. Um, I, it's a weird team for sure, right? I do have uh, Stealth Rock and Spikes, which would be fun. I can't block Spin, but it's still not bad, right? Uh, Carvana's always going to be looking good here. Oh, let me think about it. Okay, so I feel like Carvana lead could be fun. Carvana in general looks really good in the matchup here. I have to figure out a way to remove Timber, then it looks good, right? Even Natu could be good. Natu kind of walled by Slowpoke, but other than that, it's pretty fine. I think I'm just going to lead Mianfu here. Into Slowpoke. Um, I'm be happy to knock it off here. Yeah, I'll be happy to knock off Slowpoke. I don't really care about getting a Psychic hit. Yeah, okay. U-turn. Yeah, so Slowpoke damage is great because now I'm really confident that um, Life Orb Natu can do well here. Like, a lot of Pokemon weak to the coverage options. We have Sucker Punch. Uh, Sucker Punch probably not good, but Giga Drain to heal on Slowpoke that's knocked off is is amazing to have. Now, I love to run Fire Blast on my Slowpoke. I don't know if um, he is too. So I'm gonna go to Carvana here. Teleport, okay. So Psychic, Teleport, Slack Off, it can still have Fire Blast. Right? Um, they're gonna go to Timber now. I have to make a decision. It's kind of, like, it's such a bad decision. Should I flip turn on Timber for damage, right? And the reason I call it a bad decision is because, and it's not even a bad decision, right? It's just like, high risk, you risk losing Carvana for, what, 30% of damage? But at the same time, who's gonna Mac Punch a Carvana, right? Carvana's always switching out. You knock off predicting the switch, don't you, right? Um, It's kind of tough, right? So if they go to Timber, do I... Go straight to coughing, or do I try and cheat a little and get a flip turn damage? Get some flip turn damage on Timber, right? Um, ah, kind of tough. I feel like the way Carvana is, it's never worth the risk. Like 30% for the risk is not worth it. But at the same time, it's such an attractive option, just taking f free damage as they go for a knockoff predicting Timber, or predicting coughing, right? They go to Onyx, which is... Fine, right? Stealth Rock is going up. I'm gonna go to Pharaoh. Um, yeah, Stealth Rock is going up. Even if it's not going up, even if it's like Dragon Dance, my switching is always to Pharaoh, right? I'm never gonna risk Natu because I think it's really strong in the game. I don't want to risk it on like a head smash. Substitute. Um, I think just straight up Giga is fine, right? Okay. Life Orb. Um, I'm not. I, I can't say I'm a huge fan, but um, hmm. I can't say I'm a huge fan. But this is interesting, right? I guess it does put me in an uncomfortable position here. Do I spike predicting a switch, or do I straight up Giga Drain now? Right. I guess it wasn't too bad. Um. Do I need Pharaoh? I mainly need Pharaoh for Onyx anyway, so I'm just going to spike on the switch out. There we go. This might be Defog Timber. This might be Defog Timber. I think no matter what, I always go to Coughing, right? The problem is Coughing does give a switch back into Onyx, right? Um... I could Thunder Wave. 
I feel like it's gonna defog here. Yeah. Never mind, not happening today. Okay. Tough, right? So I'm gonna go to coughing here. I'm gonna get knocked off. Unfortunate. Now I'm gonna go back to Mianfu to predict Onyx here. Larvesta, that's fine too. Uh, if a, a knockoff on Larvesta, by the way, is really good for Natu as well. Everything is uh, slower than Natu besides probably Scarf Thantru. Right? I think I do take a knockoff on Larvesta here. 21, EV Light removed. Flare Blitz, Flame Charge, fine by me. We do have... Um... Diglett, right? Does that mean anything? Let's go to Carvana on Flare Blitz here. Flame Charge. Does have U-Turn. The problem really for me is, will they predict me? No, no, Flame Charge, U-Tune, Morning Sun, Willow, right? Can I go to Mianfu or will they Flare Blitz predicting it? They might Flare Blitz here. Yeah. Fake out for damage, probably. I can use Carvana defensively, maybe. Um, kind of tough here, actually, to switch in. Fake out for damage does risk getting burned. Okay. This definitely has Morning Sun here, right? Yeah. Okay. Lucky no burns everywhere, right? Is Diglett the right idea? Um, it might be. Diglett might be the right idea. Let's go back to the calc here. Uh, status, no EP light, right? So we're doing about... 40. They don't know I'm special, right? Right, they don't know I'm special, Diglett. I doubt they would give up Larvesta here, so I'm gonna Stealth Rock on U-Turn. Yeah, okay. I wonder what they go to here. They go to Timber to Defog, right? I can't stop the Defog. Going Natu is also risky for no reason, right? Like, the defog's coming in, I'm just gonna go to coughing. Okay, that worked out. Now we can get damage on Timber, good for Carvana. Um, does it matter what we do here? Does it matter what we do here? Probably not, right? Let's just go to Mianfu here. You're not going to risk Larvesta, right? There we go. Now we're back in the game. Right? Now we're back in the game. Would have liked a T-Wave on Timber, but not a big deal overall, right? Uh, back to Pharaoh, right? I think now Giga is a lot more comfortable. Or do I spike again? Ideally, I want to create the Natu situation, but I'm getting dangerously weak to Sandrew, which is a problem. I'm just going to Giga to heal. Okay, I don't hate the Sandrew play. I can Thunder Wave though right now, right? Because I'm going for the Natu win. So if I can get this paralyzed, even if I get Timber paralyzed, I'm happy, right? Okay, this is good for me. Now we're back in the game. We could double Thunder Wave. I don't think I need to do it, though. We can spike on the Larvesta switch, right? Yeah, we can spike on the Larvesta switch. This is good for uh, late game Natu. Uh, let me just calc Diglett. Air Balloon, just like a basic 
Sucker Punch is doing 50, okay? Okay, it does switch moves, okay? It's Berry Juice, okay? Do I go Natu now? I think I... I go Natu now, right? I do have Sucker Punch for Diglett. I'm not sure if I'll end up using it though or not. We could also see uh, the Onyx come in too. Okay, that's good. The pro the problem for him is like Diglett. I mean, it's not a real problem. The problem is Mianfu Natu combinations can be tough for him, but. I think if he goes Onyx, I have to take the speed tie, right? If he goes to Onyx, I have to take the speed tie. I feel like that that's a true statement, right? Knocked up. This is looking good. That If the, D the Diglett may or may not have beat up, right? May or may not have beat up. Okay, I accidentally paused the recording, but he went to Slowpoke and I used Giga Drain. So he is going for the speed tie, which is which is terrifying for me, right? Does that mean is he telling me Hey, my Diglett can't touch you? Is that the is that what he's telling me right now? It feels like it. Right? I feel like that's what's being told to me. There's no way Sucker Punch knocks it out, right? Even Life Orb. Ooh. Um, yeah, okay, so Sucker Punch does not knock it out even with Life Orb instead of Eviolite, right? Um, so basically, I'm really scared of Diglett, which can have Rock Slide, it can have, um, Beat Up. No, Beat Up doesn't matter, right? So the main concern would be Rock Slide, and if he didn't go to it, he must not have it, right? It could be Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, Final Gambit, maybe? I don't want to sacrifice coughing, do I? Do I? Do I go for the speed tie? Do I go for the speed tie? Decisions, huh? Okay, I go for the speed tie, I win, life is good. If I lose, what happens, right? If I lose the speed tie, okay, two minutes left. If I lose the speed tie, I probably revenge kill with Diglett. I feel like I'm always struggling with that Larvesta, aren't I? I'm always going to be struggling with Larvesta. No matter what, right? I'm always going to be struggling with Larvesta. I could go to Mianfu. Mianfu on Head Smash. Fake out for chip damage, right? That'll put it at 27-ish, right? That could work, right? Mianfu, and then back to Natu. Right? I don't want to go for a speed tie here. I, I think it's too risky to go for. I'm gonna go to Mianfu on... on now it could very he could very well um predict that there's no way I'm going to go okay he stays in he makes a predict okay he predicted that I wouldn't go for a speed tie um do I just high jump kick or an, I think I think I just... tough, 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 right? He made the predict, which is cool. He's gonna head smash now, probably. It's a tough thing, hmm. Like, he always has the Diglett play with him to, like, revenge kill me. I'm gonna high jump kick. If I lose the speed tie, I do lose it, okay? Um, 
Do I go to Diglett and Stealth Rock? Interesting. Probably not worth it, though. Would have been worth it if I had Mianfu alive, though. Whatever. Um, Sucker Punch does always KO, right? I'll make it look like I'm going for a speed tie, but I actually have Sucker Punch. Okay. Cool. That worked. That worked. Getting very stressful down in the end game here. It's been a while since I've had this much fun. No. They disconnected, they'll come back. I have time to run the calcs, right? Not to diglet. Worst case life orb, right? If he was life orb rock slide, he would have done it already, right? So probably not rock slide. Sucker punch is the next logical thing, right? Which would knock me out, so I'm surprised he hasn't gone to it yet. I suppose he's scared of Carvana Diglett stuff, right? He goes straight to Larvesta. Doesn't that die? That, sh that surely dies, right? It may not faint, which is a problem, right? Um, there's no way they U-turn here, right? I'm gonna go to Carvana on Flare Blitz. Okay, that works too. Protect. Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. 20 seconds left. I'm going to... Uh, if they go to Timber, they go to Timber, right? I'll have to face that, but... I think we're okay. That Diglett is concerning me a lot. We'll have to figure out what to do here. Hmm. If they go to Timber, they go to Timber. I'll have to go straight to Coughing, probably. Right? And I think I have to really... Timer's running low, too. I have to make my decisions quick. Right? This is going to be ultimately a speed die. The 16-16 speed die. Okay. Here we go. Speed tie time. No other decision except to flip turn. Okay. I suppose coughing is the best idea, right? Now, they're going to go to Diglett? No, they won't go to Diglett. I sludge bomb always. Right? I'm always going to keep it in... Um, speed tie range, right? One speed tie's worth of range. I can keep it in that. Yeah. Yeah, we always ledge bomb here. If they go to Diglett, they go to Diglett. That's fine, right? Because if they go to Diglett, you know, they start entering, you know, Sucker Punch range from Natu, right? That Larvesta still needs a little bit more damage for me to be happy, but... Timer running low, too. Okay, so they're giving up Timber, which is interesting to me. Doesn't that mean Carvana wins the game? Right? Doesn't that mean Carvana wins the game? They must have Sucker Punch on, Digl on uh, Diglett, right? Okay. 51... Oof, that sucked. They're gonna... Flame charge again. Oh, I, I can't win versus Larvester. It's boosted too much. I have to go for double protect here. Right? Yeah, I'll have to go for double protect. That's fine. Doesn't change anything, right? Wait, wasn't that a choke? Because now I... Oh, I forget the mechanic. Can I double protect now? Like, is it free? Because he didn't attack me? No, right? I... Oh, didn't get it. 
Oh uh, yeah, it came down. I mean, I had to get that 25% chance. That's fine, though. Yeah, we're going to... Booth here. We'll enter into game three. I'm not sure which team, I, which tier I want to play. Um, we'll go with NU next. Or let's do UU actually. All right, here we go. We have a Sun team into Hippowdon. Not my favorite matchup, but Darm looks still still looks fine, right? Heldio could be annoying, but not really. We have Venusaur. Yeah, so the problem is Hippo, Scizor can wall Venusaur. That's the problem, right? Stealth Rock Swampert doesn't look bad. Even Celesteela doesn't look bad, right? The main problem is going to be that Hippowdon, right? Um, Stealth Rock, I can't really stop it from going up. I can lead with it. Yeah, so we do get the sun up here, which is good. Um, I feel like Stealth Rock is going up. I can go straight to Venusaur, maybe. I feel like... Stealth Rock... I hate Stealth Rock going up. That's like the major thing I can't uh, deal with, right? So I could go to Hatterene. I'm gonna go to Venusaur. Predicting no Stealth Rock. Okay, that worked. Now I feel like you make the pivot to Crobat here. So I'm gonna Weather Ball. You're not gonna lose Hippo to Solar Beam or Giga Drain, right? Right? I mean, he could always stay in, right? That's always a risk I have to take. I do have Healing Wish on Hatterene, so damage I can get back, right? I can always get damage back. Right? Man, I'm not even sure if I wanna not- Like, oh, I got the predict wrong. Got the predict wrong. Now we're tough. We get a Flare Blitz off on something, but it's going- Hippowdon's weakened, so we'll have to go for Healing Wish plus Darm. Right? Healing Wish plus Darm is an idea here. Because we we did get the Hippo weakened. We did get the Hippo weakened. We did get the Hippo weakened, but that's not going to be enough, is it? He like the problem is he can sacrifice a Pokemon, then go back to Hippowdon, and I'm I can't do much about it. Hatterene is still like a fine Pokemon because Draining Kiss, it's still fine. Draining Kiss and Mystical Fire, but definitely tough here. Right? Like, he's basically picking what to sacrifice and then going back to Hippowdon, right? Let's just run the calc real quick. Uh, I think Hippowdon's run specially defensive. We can actually find out based on the Venusaur damage, but... So, Flare Blitz does like 50 according to damage calc, but they may or may not be invested, so we can actually find that out. In this run, Venusaur did about how much? 47. Which means it could be more or less specially defensive invested, right? Right? So we could- this could be in Hippo- I mean, it's in Sun Range. Is it out of Sun Range 2? That we don't know. That'll come down to the roll, right? Even if it is specially defensive, Darmanitan has a chance to KO, right? 
Darm has a chance to kill. So Tangrowth, probably Rocky Helmet. That's dead. Okay, not Rocky Helmet. That was a Salt Fest. Okay. Now, if you go back to Hippo... What it what no if you so you're not going back to hippo, right? I mean if you go back to hippo it means you're confident you can live. If you're not confident that you can live, you go to Keldeo. So either way I find out information, right? Yeah. In the in the sun. Yeah. So if you're confident you live, you go to Hippowdon. If you're confident you don't, you might live, then you go to Keldeo instead. So we can find out information. If they go Keldeo, they're telling me Hip Hippowdon is more especially defensive than initially thought, right? I don't... Oh, the problem is... The problem is that Hatterene gives the free switch in to Hippowdon again, right? It's too slow, so Hippowdon can start using Slack Off, which is a problem, right? I could try... Huh. I could try Swampert, maybe? Swampert in on Keldeo here, flip turn for damage. The, the good thing is that uh, Torkoal can still uh, throw off some... It can, because it's slower than Hippowdon, it can still get the sun up, which I want, and then Hatterene can Healing Wish Darm later, right? They go to Crobat, you are dead, my friend, right? He must think I'm banded, right? Give me the Crobat, thank you, okay? Okay. He's giving me- he gave me Crobat. He must have assumed I was, like, choice banned or something. But even if you think I'm choice banned, wouldn't Keldeo be the play then? He must- he must have thought I'm choice banned. Okay, so I, I'll take that. I think that's a mistake. But I'll take it. We're still looking good. Torkoal, Torkoal alone looks good, right? If it can Lava Plume Hippo, it's burned. Um, I think it, Scizor is going to U-turn here, right? I think I go to Swampert on the U-turn. Yeah, that's fine. Now Hippowdon should come back in. It might be scared of Scald. I can always Stealth Rock, which is good, right? Celesteela can have Giga Drain. Do I think it's Giga Drain? Even if, even if I think it's Giga Drain, don't I always go to um don't I always go to my own Celesteela because I have Flamethrower? Or maybe that's the plan. To bait in Celesteela to go to Hippo, right? I think Swampert has too good a matchup to risk here. I'm gonna go to Celesteela here on the chance they might have Giga. They have Toxic, that's fine. Um, here we go. Flamethrower in the sun. We'll see how much we do to hip out on. Do we do enough? Oh, no, no. Sun will run out anyway, right? I am not very fast, right? Do I switch in Torkoal predicting hip out on? No, I was faster. Okay. I think I just Lava Plume, right? Sun is going to run out. No, yeah, okay, they go to Keldew. I hopefully get a burn. No. Uh, I have to go to Swampert, probably. I, I struggled with switching into a Water-type move here. Without the protection, right? Ooh, that's Specs Hydro. Uh, we always... Mystical Fire here, right? Heavy Slam incoming. Go to Torkoal, right? We want... Like, Heavy Slam isn't coming. This is specially defensive Celesteela. We want a Healing Wish into Darm. That's the main idea. Right? Okay. Uh, Keldeo at 81. In the Sun, we need a little bit more damage. We can get that damage here, right? With Lava Plume. We want a little bit more damage on Keldeo to put it into Darm range. Right? Even a burn on Keldeo sets up a lot of stuff, right? 41, okay. 
Are, is it, are they planning a leech seed here? Okay, Hippowdon. We need a burn on Hippowdon here. Not getting it. So Celesteela can win the game, right? If I get the... I probably can't win the game. Keldeo's too strong. Even the Hatterene... Do I go for the burn here? No, I go to Hatterene. Oh, I could have gone for the burn. We'll go Mystical Fire here. On U-turn, probably. Hit Celesteela for something. Yeah, it's not big damage. Okay. We need a little bit more chip. Okay. We don't outspeed though. Right. We definitely don't outspeed. We can try and win with... Um... So like, there's a Leech Seed coming in, right? I feel like... Um, they're taking too much damage, right? Go to Torkoal again. They do Leech Seed, making the predict, right? I'm gonna go to Celesteela now. I'm thinking my Celesteela can try and win the game. They go to Hippowdon. Do we go back? We Leech Seed, right? Okay, there we go, got it. Got he's I got him on the over predict. We have now we now have damage to put it in range of Darmanitan's Flare Blitz. Okay, we got him on the overpredict. Now Now I believe we always have E Slam here. Right? We don't die to like a Hydro. Heavy Slam. Okay, how much are we doing here? Critical hit. Ooh, are we in business now? Do we win the game now? Hold on. 25. Okay. Are we- in do we win the game now? Kind of, right? Let's run the calcs, right? Choice specs. We have Celesteela Custom. Yeah, we take nothing. We might win the game straight up, right? Okay. Um, they don't know that we're Protect, right? We may or may not be Protect. Okay, they know. I think we just trade Leech Seeds here, right? Because I want my Celesteela at full, no matter what, right? I don't want I don't want to go to Hatterene, because then Hip Howdon can heal on me. I think I go straight for the 1v1 here, right? Okay. I think I go to Darm here. You don't Heavy Slam, right? I think I go to Darm, try and force a KO. I've gotten the damage I wanted on Keldeo, I feel like. I feel like Scizor is a probably- no, but I can have Flamethrower. You never go Scizor on Flamethrower, right? I think Darm is a fine play here, right? I think my Celesteela can win the match. I, I, I never want to go to anything uh, slower than Hippowdon, because then Hippowdon would be able to... Okay, healed. There we go. Uh, now we pick up a KO, right? Who's dying, right? Who's dying? Let's go. Scissor gone. Do I die to recoil? Tell me I don't. We do. So we do have Healing Wish Hatterene. But that's not the that's not what we care about right now. We care about Celesteela winning the game. Um, don't we always protect, right? So I'm happy because we have Healing Wish on Hatterene, right? Let me double check a calc. 
uh, Hatterene, right? Do I die to Heavy Flam? Heavy Flam to 71 to 85, okay? Okay, so I would have to Leech and then go to Hatterene, right? How much did Heavy Flam do that one time? It did 25 to Keldeo. I feel like I can sacrifice Helisteela here. I mean, sacrifice Torkoal, right? To make Scald weaker. Or do I Leech? I feel like I can... Um... Hmm. The, the main thing is that burn chance is really annoying me here, right? I have time on the clock to think though, but that burn chance is annoying me. We're taking about 40%. I think I have to leech for no burn, right? Okay, hold. That's good. We can hold on again. We can leech to make a predict, which I think I'll do, right? Yeah, there we go. Come on, hit that. There we go. We're back in. I believe Heavy Slam should KO. There we go. Defense boost doesn't mean anything. Um, let's just go back to the Celestula calcs here. I don't know what spread he is, right? UU defensive. Okay. So flamethrower not doing a ho whole lot of damage, right? Okay. I probably just leech, right? Straight up. Okay, that's good. And we have protection of sand. He can't go Keldeo because we have the sand's protection. Right? We have sand's protection here. Okay. Right? Do we go and bounce off stuff here now? Like, they're gonna leech, right? Do I try and bounce it here? Or do I flamethrower? If I go- if I try to, like, permanently deny the bounce, right? We outspeed. I think our Celesteela has consistently outsped, right? We're gonna be doing around 30. Is denying the bounce worth it? I mean, denying the leech seed worth it, right? Um, I think not right now. 25 only. They do leech. Okay. I think... Oh. I think we always switch out, right? Switch out and come back in. I don't think this is chokeable, right? Even if I give up... Like, even if they heavy slam making the predict here, right? I'm always denying... Entry. Right? Right? Okay, I'm choking. Let me think carefully about what I'm doing here. My out, my Celesteela outspeeds his, right? So I can always Torkoal here, right? Right? Okay, now I can Lava Plume. And there's no way I lose, right? There we go. GG. Okay, we win game three, we're on to game four now. The comeback is on. Alright, we're back in PU. Definitely my most uncomfortable tier, but I like I like the looks we got in game three. So I'm bringing kind of an offensive team. 
were built around Spike and then Quiver Dance with Bombi U turn and then Arctovish, which is Dracovish's little brother or big brother, I don't know. Um, in any case, I'm trying to think of how are we breaking through, right? So I want to run a calc. Does Arctovish so Arctiv can come in on, for example, uh, Gigalith trying to switch into Charizard? I don't have U-turn or anything, so it would have to be like a pivot. So for example, I mean, I have to be a double switch. So predicting Gigalith, I go to Arctivish, for example, right? That's one way of doing it. And I'm just now realizing I don't have a ground type and they have an electric type. So I'm in trouble here. I feel like I want to get, what I want to do is I want to be able to get a U-turn off early with Robombi. That way I can kind of bluff, you know, maybe I'm not Quiver. So I'm going to lead Robombi here. Into Finlux, I do want that U-turn off. This is very likely to be choice specs, right? Um, right? Finlux, choice specs, wall breaker, and we have Rubombi. Which would die in one hit, of course it would. Then Charizard doesn't take it on. Uh, Charizard doesn't take it on, so we will have to U-turn into the Arctivish here, right? Forty-seven only, okay. Fifty-seven only, rather. Arctivish. That is, that might be choice specs. It might not be, right? I think we go to Mesprit anyway because we outspeed, but. Yeah, we don't really have a switch. I we got that U-turn off. I'm not sure if it'll end up mattering though. Hmm. Stealth Rock feels like a priority, but the problem is I can't do anything with it, right? Like I get the Stealth Rock up, but Eldegoss is just gonna come back in, right? Uh. Four U-turn. I'm gonna stealth rock predicting a switch out. Sleep powder, that's fine. Garboder now. Let's get a spike up. I'm struggling versus Vanillux here. I want hazards up. Okay, Giglet comes in now. I wanna go to Guzzlord, I wanna get a knockoff on something. Right? They're gonna get Stealth Rock up too, I can't do much about it. I could go hard Arctivish though, which is an idea. But then I become really weak to Blizzard, but I'm gonna be weak to Blizzard anyway. So I'm gonna go hard Arctivish on Stealth Rock. Okay. Um, here comes Ficious Rend. Switch into that. There we go. Switch into that. There we go, Arctivish is in. Heavy Duty Boots Raichu? That's a big problem. We don't have a switch in. If we go to Guzzler, we take all sorts of damage, and Vanillux comes right back in. So the good thing is that Quiver Dance or Bombi is opened up. We just need a little bit of damage on Dublade, which we can get. We can get that damage with Garboder and stuff, right? We'll go to Guzzlord here on Volt Switch. Ooh, okay, that was not actually that bad. Now we get a knockoff, which I love. Okay, so we will get a knockoff. On Rabombi too, okay. Um, I feel like... I feel like I can Heavy Slam here. There we go, got it. Okay. Yeah, I um, mean, game, last game he was over predicting a little bit, so I felt like he was gonna try and make predicts for Charizard. So we got that right here, okay. Um, I feel like you don't waste Raichu here, right? I'm gonna Heavy Slam again. Easy. I shouldn't say easy, that's actually really rude, but... Um, sometimes you need a little luck, right? Um, okay, I could have Heavy Slam that time. Into Eldegoth, we knock it off, we can go back to Garboder, right? Big Threat Garboder. Leech. 
I have a free switch to Ribombi, right? I'm thinking Quiver Dance Ribombi can win the game. Yeah. Because the, the main reason I say that is because they don't know I'm not... They don't know that I'm not um, Quiver. I mean, they don't know that I'm Quiver. Ooh, that's an interesting two blade. I got owned there. Um, Crunch or Ficious Rend? I can... What are they even going here? They don't sacrifice Rubombi, right? I don't think they let Dublade get chipped either. Will they? They might. I'm okay with that. I can fish with Rend here. I, I do like... I'm, I'm saving the Quiver. They don't know I have it, which is what I'm really hoping for here. Okay, we get damage. We go to Garboder. We want to create a sacrifice for Raichu, basically, right? Will they try and... I don't think... Like, do I go to Garboder now? There, there's no way they go Raichu here, because I could very well be sacrificing. Yeah, there's no switch in besides... Yeah, okay. Get that sneak. Critical hit, annoying. Not the end of the world. We have Aftermath, right? So we can Stomping Tantrum. And we're gonna go for that Quiver win. Because they don't know we have it because we bluffed it on turn one, right? Typically Quiver and U-turn doesn't make a lot of sense, so we're gonna go with that bluff here. Um, Let's run a quick calc, actually. Bombi let me check. That's 27, right? So we kind of put it no, so we put it in range. We can get a spike up because we put it in range, yeah. Okay. Okay, now after spikes it'll be at what 33, maybe? 33. If we get a special attack boost, we are at 35, right? Here we go. Time to make the move. Right, time to make the move. I feel like the Arctivish sacrifice is kind of obvious, isn't it? Whatever, I think we're gonna make it. Even though it's obvious, you can't punish it, really. Right? I mean, it's obvious, though. That's the main problem. It's fine. Even if it's obvious, there's no real obvious punish, right? Okay. We've made the bluff. U-turn never runs Quiver. Let's go for Quiver now. Here we go. Alright, let's make something happen here. Do Blade is in range according to my calculations? Great. Yeah, I think everything is in range here. Maybe Vanillux is not. It should be. Vanillux is kind of trash. Oh, what if it's Ice Shard Vanillux? Then I'm in trouble. Oh, I forgot about Ice Shard Vanillux here. Troy Specs Ice Shard. I completely forgot about that um, a possibility. Oh, I forgot about that possibility here. Um, plus one special, plus one special defense. Yeah, we're taking too much. We're going to lose to Shadow Sneak. Oh, and Shadow Sneak and Ice Shard. I forgot about that possibility. Right? Do I recover? Do I recover on the Dublade Shadow Sneak? That's a tough play to make, isn't it? Right, do I... Do I recover on the Dublade Shadow Sneak here? How much does... Does it... It might not even have a place to fit Ice Shard, right? Ice Shard does 25. Do Blades, Shadow Sneak does 37. We're gonna go for it. Right? Right? Is that the right idea? Oh, we don't even knock it out! Oh! 
Oh, GG, we don't even knock it out. I think we had, like... We don't know the EVs there, but yeah. Ah, I thought we had enough power to knock it out. If we had enough power, we won the game. I could have U-turned there too, but that was kind of a choke, I guess. I thought we KO'd there. Yeah, now the the ice cream picks up everything. It's over. Ah, that had a, that a chance. What was it? We don't know the EVs, obviously, right? But 35, it was at 35, right? So he must have had more special defense, right? Yeah, that would make some more sense. If he had special defense, yeah. Uh, we can keep Dublade alive for who knows why, but... GG, we're gonna lose here. And that was pretty fun. Unfortunately, uh, we lost, obviously, which I don't like, but still a fun series. Game 1, I didn't like the matchup. Game 2, we were weak to fire, but um, that's, that's whatever, you know. Game 3, decent. Game 4, I thought we could have won here. So definitely, it looks like the Dublade had a more special defense than I was planning. Um, I thought we had good chances of KOing here, but... Uh, in any case, it was a fun series, and thank you guys for watching. I will be uploading, hopefully, today. Oh, it's a one-hour video. That's kind of crazy, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably upload today as the game is happening. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you